a whole set of great sessions. Uh, but before we do, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Taxi Talk behind the scenes a little bit and give you some fun experiences to do yourself, some little activities to do. Uh, so thank you for joining. First of all, thank you. I know that you are very busy. You have a lot going on. We are streaming in a lot of different locations and maybe you just caught this. Maybe you're tuning in. You're like, who is this girl? What is Taxi Talk Global? What's happening? You're in for a great time. So thank you for taking some time. I want you to do uh, something, which is to think about why you're here and to start thinking about your events. Uh, we have a client called uh, named Mike McCallowitz. He has written a series of books that we really love. And one thing that I learned from him recently uh, was crush cringe activity. And I want you to start thinking about your events and start thinking about which ones you crush over. They were great. And it could be ones that you have planned for clients, ones that you've hosted yourself, or even things that you've attended. And what are the events that make you cringe? We've all been there. Registration lines is one of my like killer ones. I can't stand when there's long lines or it's really disorganized or God forbid they're still using paper. I swear this is something that's never going to go away. In any case, start thinking about that and start thinking about what you hope to get out of the next three days. So it's two and a half hours of content approximately each day, three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, starting at 12 noon Eastern. So if you're just catching us now, make sure you set aside some time to join us for the next few days as well. We have so much great content and we're focused around this attendee experience, which I believe very much is going to be the driver in 2023 and beyond for our events. COVID sidelined us. We did a ton of virtual and I think we've seen a huge rush back to in-person, but I think we are going to see attendee expectations really rise. I think people rushed back to events in 2022 because they're very excited to see everyone and it's exciting. And I think in 2023, even though you saw maybe, maybe you saw record numbers in 2022, I'm hearing a lot of that didn't happen, but everyone says, you know, events are back, quote unquote. Even if that was the case, I think in 2023, you're going to start seeing people be much more discerning. And the only way you're going to stay relevant and keep growing your brand is to really focus here. So we're talking about some crazy topics over the course of the next few days. Uh, neurodiversity is one of the very important ones. Uh, today, we will talk about that with Megan Henshaw from Google. We will talk about um, experience profiles and this idea of belonging, which Megan and Naomi from Storycraft Labs have been working together on something, which is really exciting. I'm happy to share with you. We're going to be talking psychological safety, the art of creating memorable experiences by someone who is the director of experience, which by the way, totally new job title that your companies need to implement. So that's just today. We have so much good content. As always in the Taxi Talk uh, fashion, we're fast paced. So put on your seatbelts, think about what you want to learn, dive in, and uh, we will, we're going to really hit you hard with some good information. I want to talk a little bit about uh, what we did for Taxi Talk Global this year. What's different? Uh, we always say that we fail so that you don't have to. We try all the things that uh, I would even like to try with my clients, for example. And sometimes I recommend it and they say, well, that's a horrible idea. And then I go do it. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. But other times I can go back and say, we tried it and it works and you really should try it. So I want to talk you through... Uh, what we've been doing over the course of the last year is really driving deep on our community. We have been building our community since 2010 when I got involved in the events industry. If you are someone who knows us from those times, put it in the chat because I want to know. You remember our uh, our uh, venue. We used to call them planner crawls uh, where we went to three venues in one night in three hours and we would do these like very quick uh, site visits for event planners. We had all kinds of meetups. And back then, no one was calling it community. We were calling them meetups. We were uh, creating listservs. And over the years, many of you, and I know people are watching on different platforms, many of you have followed the iteration of where we are going as technology changes, as we change. Um, Ed is here. I know he he remembers those days very well. <laughs> um we have really focused this year on moving our community into circle. So we have our Facebook community, which is where a lot of you are watching. Um, but we've been very intentional about moving off of Facebook for a number of reasons. 
Uh, and I'm going to be honest, that's really challenging because people spend all their time on Facebook and it's really difficult to get people to sign up for something else and then regularly remember to use it. But that is a commitment that I'm making that I think you're going to need to know for your planning in 2023 is to really be intentional about what you're doing with your communities and how you're building them. And uh, so that's one tip that I have learned myself the hard way this year really uh, thinking of where you need to be strategically creating the path for people to get there. And then it's all around messaging and consistency, not changing your path just because there's a little bit of friction. But if you know that's where you need to go, that's where you need to go. So we've done that this year um, and we will continue to do that. Our Taxi Talk way is to really be relational, uh, friendly, all about the personal relationships. Uh, you know, so many of you, I see your faces on the comments and in the groups. And uh, we've done all kinds of things. We've had great conversations over the years. We've shared all these Zoom discussions. Um, and we try to really make our community audience driven. So with Taxi Talk Global this year, we made a few big changes based on what I shared. One is that we decided not to ticket this event. Um, we have a community and our community already includes a ticket to the event. And so we started realizing that people were just going to sign up for something they've technically already signed up for. That is really confusing. And I've really been thinking around this idea of if we want to give people a great experience, do we want them signing up over and over and over again for every little thing that we do? It's, first of all, a ton of work on our side, on the marketing side, but I think it gets annoying. I mean, you tell me because you guys are watching it. Uh, it gets annoying to sign up for a billion things and have this in a billion places. So we decided to stream this content free. The content is what I think is kind of the driver of the connection. And so we want to make that available to as many people as possible. We then decided to stream on social networks where people already live, where you might stumble upon. We're seeing our numbers go up as we're live here. It's because people, maybe they didn't even know it was happening, but they're joining today because they happen to be on social. And so this way, you don't have to create a new profile. You don't have to figure out what platform we're on. And there are a ton of great virtual platforms. We ourselves have used a ton of them for Taxi Talk and for other things. But for this, we decided get it out there and create the platform. Um, another thing we've done that I want to make sure you have time to do as well is we've partnered with Storycraft Labs to do experience profiles. This is something that I think you are definitely going to want to use for your events. Um, what you could do is go now, if you haven't already, to taxitalk.com slash experience dash profiles. Um, we'll try to put that in the chat or you can just it's not that hard to type it in. Um, take this little quiz. And at the end of the quiz, you're going to find out what kind of experience you prefer. So there are a few different types. It's almost like a personality quiz. So you'll see I am, no surprise, a thinker, someone who likes to think things through. And it'll give you a little description at the end. There are seekers, creators. And what we did was we took this information based on people who had filled it out prior and try to make sure that our agenda hits all the experience profiles. So for example, we will have three different kinds of networking over the three next days. Today, at the close of today, we're going to jump into Zoom, open Zoom. Everyone can just kind of connect with each other in an open format. We'll do some networking and wrap up the day. Tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., which is two hours before the content starts, we are going to be in a different Zoom link doing more of a speed dating so you can meet speed networking, I guess, so you can meet some of the people who are participating in this event. And then on day three, we have more of an open format where we're going to have breakouts by topic and you can choose which ones you want to go in. You can kind of move around and be part of different discussions. These all fit into the different experience profiles. Uh, there are people who... I'm one of those people. I actually prefer the speed networking. Just match me up with someone and give me that five minute like exit zone so I don't have to awkwardly end the conversation. That's my personality. Some people like lots of videos. Some people like the opportunity to move around. So we're going to try all three and offer that to you. So this is driven by the experience profiles. We looked at that data and then we thought, where are we missing? What do we need to add? And this is something you should be doing for your events. Uh, Storycraft also has a few extra things that we designed because of the profiles. So uh, one, this is just a fun little thing to do is create a taxi creature. I've already done mine. Uh, so if you go to this link right now, 
you can uh, actually create your own creature. You just, there's all these little things you can copy and paste from to design what yours likes. Hint, mine has a coffee cup in hand, of course. I, I send it back. I'm like, hey, can we add a coffee cup? Because it doesn't feel like my creature unless it has the coffee. Uh, so create this creature. You can then share it on social media. You can look and see who else is here. We're going to create this kind of like zoo of taxi creatures based on the people who are watching and participating. So I hope you can take a few seconds to do this. We also have some kind of worksheets or things that you can use as you go through the next several days of content. Um, this one is bit.ly slash the taxi difference. Really thinking about what were you doing before and based on what you've learned, how will you do things differently in the future? And it's a, a fun little activity that you can do during or after the event. We'll share this link again a few times throughout the next few days. Um, I really like this for those of us who want to process this information and not just hear it in the background and you know, kind of lose it from there. And one more uh, bit.ly slash taxi reflections is another great reflection worksheet that they've created just for you guys based on these experience profiles. So these are some fun things that you can do while we are kind of going through the process of the next few days to make it meaningful to you based on your experience profile. Okay, the last thing I wanted to mention, a lot of things I want to mention, but I'll come back to them. Um, experience profiles, we talked about uh, what we're doing with ticketing. Uh, I also just wanted to mention that we decided to offer the content for these three days in multiple formats. So we do this in our circle community and that's where you can catch everything post event. Um, if you have not joined our circle community, go to taxitalk.com slash member. It's a free community to join. But what you will be able to do there, just so you know, is you'll be able to catch the full video recordings. You'll also be able to grab audio only in the format of a podcast. If you want to go back and listen to the content, but you don't want to necessarily see the slides, we will have the transcripts and we will also have notes. So someone from our team is going to go back to every session and just kind of take notes, almost like the Cliff Notes version. So you can dive into that and make sure that you are not missing anything. So again, based on the profiles and really wanting to create an inclusive experience, we want to make sure that if you want this content, it's available to you when you want it and in the format that you want. Uh, a lot of other thinking went into Taxi Talk, and I'd be happy to answer questions and talk about it, but we have way too many good speakers, and I cannot delay. We're right on time. So let me just look here. Okay, we're dropping links in the comments. Thank you to everyone.